Play with the best at ufifa.com to get a discount on all your FIFA points and coins. Use the code TVM at checkout. The link is in the description. What is going on, guys? TVM here. Welcome to another week of Team of the Week predictions. Kicking things off with a, uh, a possible, not one that I've actually picked for the starting 23, but Manuel Akanji. Uh, he got two goals from the centre-back position, also kept a clean sheet and got man of the match in Basel's 3-0 win. But unfortunately, there's far too many players this week to choose from, and I don't think he quite made the cut. Unfortunately, neither did Connor McCallany. He got an inform the other week, actually, a 72 rated, but he did this on Tuesday night. I'm not quite sure whether EA looked at it and decided not to do it for Wednesday or whether they're going to do it this week. But he got a hat-trick in a 5-1 win over Bury, so possibly, but I don't think so. I had three goalkeepers to choose from this week. One of them was Ivan Coelho, and this would be his second in form, but unfortunately I don't think he's going to quite make it. He made six saves and do it, 18 shots, got man of the match, and kept a clean sheet against Sevilla. But like I said, I don't think it's going to be quite enough. And finally, for the possibles, we have shown. I'm probably saying that wrong, but let's forget I ever said anything. He opened the scoring with a contender for goal of the season against Feyenoord, and Ajax actually went on to win that game two goals to one. So it's a big game in Holland. He obviously was on the winning side and he scored an absolute belter. I'm just not quite sure whether EA will take that into consideration, but we live in hope. And now, believe it or not, we move on to the bench. Diego Alves, 87 rated on the bench. Five saves and a penalty save. And he also picked up man of the match in Valencia's 2-0 win. We're going to play a little game. From now on, you need to count how many times I say the word hat-trick in the rest of this video. Eric Torres got himself a hat-trick and he also picked up man of the match for Houston Dynamo in a 4-1 win. I tried looking this up. Some people say Bat, some people say Bath. Not really, no, no, no clue. We're just going to call him Danny. So what did Danny do? He got two goals and he also picked up Man of the Match in a 3-1 win for Wolves over Cardiff. Could this be one of the only Australian informs in recent times? Uh, possibly. McLaren got an eight-minute hat-trick in a 5-1 win for Brisbane Raw. Every week I normally look up players' names, but uh, this week I'm in a bit of a rush. So Andreas Ulmer, I know I'm saying it wrong. He got himself two goals and he also picked up a clean sheet in a 5-0 win. Continuing the trend of butchering people's names, we're going to go with Andrew Considine. Considine? He got, you guessed it, a hat-trick in a whopping 7-0 win for Aberdeen. John Marquis got a hat-trick and he also picked up Man of the Match in a 5-1 win over Grimsby. And now we move in to the goals, kicking them off with Scott Sinclair. Got himself a hat-trick. Surprise, surprise. It would be a position change, actually, from the left side to the right side. I'm not sure I'd be happy about that because he is right-footed, but still looks like a fairly decent card. Andre Kamaric. He got himself two goals. He also hit the bar twice, picked up man of the match, and his side went on to win three goals to one. Arta Ionita got two goals from midfield and a 3-1 win over Palermo. That actually, to me, is a very appealing card. Very, very well-rounded. Can't wait to get my hands on that. Miguel Angel Britos of uh, Watford and Greece got himself a goal. Uh, the only goal, incidentally, and a clean sheet. Also picked up man of the match in Watford's 1-0 win over Sunderland. And finally, completing the bench and reserves, we have Danny Simpson of Leicester City. He got the two assists to both goals, also picked up a clean sheet in Leicester's 2-0 win. I bet you guys were wondering who the hell the goalkeeper was, seeing as that we had an 87-rated uh, goalkeeper on the bench, but it is going to be Jan Sommer once more for his 48th inform. He made a penalty save, also made four saves, and picked up man of the match in a 0-0 draw, and his side were down to 10 men, so they had to endure a lot of pressure toward the end of the 90 minutes. First outfield player of the starting 11, then we have Eric Dyer. He got himself a goal, kept a clean sheet, and picked up man of the match in Tottenham's 2-0 win. Felipe Luiz got himself a goal uh, in Atletico's 2-0 uh, win. He also picked up man of the match. Now, normally I would say mm, maybe not, but there is a severe lack of, of quality defenders this week. We've seen it happen with the likes of Alexandro and various other defenders in the past, so you never know. Thomas Delaney, who recently got himself an upgrade and I thought it looked like a very nice card, could potentially be on his way to his first in-form of the year as well. He got a hat-trick and he also picked up an assist and got man of the match in their 5-2 win. Bit of a cheeky one this, but I've gone with this, Sko. He only got a goal. Uh, he did pick up man of the match as well. Real Madrid went on to win the game 3-0, but I think he may have done enough. He put in a very good shift, actually. Very good performance for Madrid. So fingers crossed we could be seeing the uh, 26th in-form Isco. Speaking of someone who has a lot of informs, Keita could potentially be on his way to, I think, what is his third inform. He got two goals in a 4-0 win for Leipzig from centre mid. Wasn't actually the man of the match in that game. It was Forsberg, but he only got a goal and an assist, and he's currently in form this week. 
EA tend to look at these big games, derbies and such, and always pick out an inform from it. So Felipe Coutinho got himself a goal. He also picked up an assist and got man of the match in Liverpool's 3-1 win over Everton in the Merseyside derby. So I think that should, in theory, be enough. Mario Gomez. How many of you want to sing the Mario Gomez song right now? I know I do. He got a hat-trick in seven minutes in a 3-3 draw against Leverkusen. Now, I know they didn't go on to win the game, but a couple of weeks ago, I think a Hirenveen striker, a silver, got himself an inform for scoring a hat-trick despite losing the game 4-3. So we should pretty much see uh, a Mario Gomez in form. Next up, we have Thomas Muller. This is an interesting one because he's one of two Bayern Munich players in this week's Team of the Week, and they're both big names as well. Thomas Muller scored two goals uh, he also played a perfect 10 rating in his 6-0 win for Bayern. But Robert Lewandowski had to take it one step further. He got two assists and he also got a hat-trick and he also picked up Man of the Match in that 6-0 win. We've seen two informs uh, being given from the same game before. Of course, Deli Ali, Harry Kane, they both got one for a, I think it was a 4-0 win. Uh, we've also seen um, Gomis and Tuvan got it for Marseille's 5-0 win. So definitely not off the cards here. And finally, in the starting 11, we have Alejandro Gomez, not to disappoint, 88 rated, although no longer a striker card. From what I could tell in that game, he played sort of left wing, left forward, so I'd imagine he would revert back to his original position. That, for me, is actually very, very good. For a lot of people, maybe not so much. I have the one to watch Higuain, so it would fit perfectly in a team with him. But also, I would imagine he'd be a little bit cheaper uh, than the striker version had he come out an eight, as an 88. He got a hat-trick and he also picked up Man of the Match in Atlanta's 5-0 win. We're not quite done yet, so stick around. We do have another two cards to talk about from a cup final that happened uh, yesterday. Uh, but uh, that's obviously the starting lineup. But I do want to mention that uh, I know Luis Suarez got a goal and assist, but I don't think it's going to quite be enough. I know Neymar got a goal, but he's currently in form. Uh, there are a few other players lurking around here with two goals here and assist there. Um, if EA decide that they don't want to give out this stonking team of the week, because that starting 11 is insane. Basically, because the SBC that's currently running, obviously they have a guaranteed info. Maybe they don't want to have an insane team of the week, so they might be stingy and not give it to Coutinho. They might not give it to uh, Alejandro Gomez because one of his goals was a penalty, etc. Muller and so on and so forth. So just bear that in mind. Now, let's get in to those two extra players. I don't normally do this as it is a team of the week prediction, but EA seem to be releasing Man of the Matches on a Wednesday as and where possible. So we had a cup final in France the last couple of days. PSG emphatically beat Monaco four goals to one, despite many critics thinking it was going to be the other way around. Angel Di Maria got a goal and two assists. He also picked up Man of the Match in a 4-1 win. But I wouldn't be surprised to see this fella as well. Edison Cavani, he got two goals in that 4-1 win, one of which was absolutely just perfection. Great connection, great goal. Would be a really nice card as well. It would be a nice touch from uh, from EA to be able to give two man of the matches for the same game. In fact, Draxler got himself a goal. I believe he hit the bar as well and put in a, an excellent shift. So maybe a front three from PSG man of the match, or maybe they'll just go with Angel Di Maria. What would you do? Would you release all three or would you release one? And if you only release one, which one would it be? If you have enjoyed this week's Team of the Week predictions, do me a favour and smack that like button. Let me know who I left out in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and here, of course. And until the next time, goodbye.